Hello guys and welcome to another Applied Energy 62 video. You might recognize this one. It's the super compact inscriber order crafting system that I've covered in the previous video. But in 1.18 things have changed just a little. For one we have the pattern provider. I covered this in the previous video. And uh, secondly we have an update in the storage bus behavior and also something has changed in the auto crafting system perhaps it's a receiver or how they handle it so i have added a chest here to uh, to solve that change um, also i changed colors to make it more clear what network uh, and where the boundaries are between networks so green is the main network where we have where we have a storage and auto crafting and then the blue is well the uh, the the subnet so to say where we handle all the processor auto crafting and then we have a small mini network over here so i will go through this in detail right now and then when I'm done with that, if you want to, I will also build it from scratch later on. All right, let's get started with the uh, recipes. And before that, make sure you have your crafting storage in the same network as you have your storage and uh, you connect that one to the pattern provider. And to make a processor, we have one silicon, one redstone dust, and then you either have a diamond, gold ingot, or the Certus Quartz crystal. If you take a look at the processor itself, you make it from printed silicon and the printed circuit. But for the pattern, that doesn't mean anything because we're on we have it in processing mode which means that we specify what inputs give what output. And uh, this network really don't care about what's happening over here. We have no idea. We are sending these items to this pattern provider because I have the pattern here, all the three. And then the pattern provider will, in this case, place it in the chest these three items in the chest. Previously I had an interface here to receive them, but uh, I'll cover that later when I rebuild it and I will demonstrate why, uh, why I needed to change it. But we will place all the items in here and this network will take care of that, place them in the inscribers and send them back and forth. And then in the end we have this export bus to send them back and the only thing we know from this network is that we're sending these items and we're getting this back we just specify what to do and this specifies where to send them and when we have it back in the network we're done all right so that's the all these three the uh, the, the the patterns for each processor Okay, and for the crafting, I have placed four crafting storages. The monitor is optional, but it's good to have in a creative world so you know what's going on. So if I order uh, 11 of these, I can see them over there. I can also add a few of these and I can see them at the same time. And just to be complete, let's order one of these as well. So now we have all three running. All of these are running. We have all the items in here waiting to be used. And they are sent, being sent back with this export bus to the provider. And once we do that, they will be uh, in this green network again. And we can see that we are getting all these uh, processors now working our way through. Okay, so. Another detail um, is how to power all these. 
So all these uh, uh, inscribers, they need power. I also want to make sure that this green network is not connected to the blue. So once these are done, uh, we're closing in and now we have everything done. So here, if I connect this one without the Certus or the quartz fiber, you can see that it says four channels here, five channels here. We can see that this storage bus is missing a channel. This one is missing a channel. We are completely messed up right now because these eight are being used for one, two, three, uh, four, and then five and six and so on. So we need to make sure that the green network is not connected to this side. Same thing here. We can see that we have no connection from the pattern provider. We send all the stuff into the chest. There's nowhere else to put them because this export bus cannot receive them and this cannot receive them. And over here we only have power connected. And then again, the export bus will send them back. So the blue and green are completely separate networks. Okay, so now when we have power going into the inscriber, these three are connected to each other and I think, yeah, and this one as well. So all of these are getting power from this connection. This yellow network consists of these two. You can see we have two channels in this network. They get power from this quartz fiber, an import bus and a storage bus. It's a very small network, but we have to separate them because the blue one is completely filled up. We have to make this one a network of its own. So power comes to this one from, from this blue part down here. Then we get power to this. So all of them get power from different paths, but the entry point is over here. And once we have that, it previously I had uh, quartz fiber between blue and, uh, and green, but that's uh, not needed right now because we can connect it there instead. Okay, so now when we have sent all items to the chest, we have power in the blue network. I place an import bus here. It will import, I have an acceleration card, that's optional. It will just import items more frequently. We import items from the chest into the blue network. Make sure you keep import and export in, in the right direction. So we import into the blue network. And what do we import? Well, we import anything that we place in here. On this side, we place them in inscribers and I did and I filter where each and every item go. So if I place something else in here, like this uh, silicon press or this uh, monitor, whatever, they won't go anywhere. But if I place a diamond, it will go somewhere. Oh, it was used directly. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. So every storage bus, we have five of them here. The one up here, let's see, I can do this one. We'll only place silicon in this inscriber because silicon will be sent in here. And in here we have a silicon press. Acceleration cards, again, they are optional. I have them in all, so I won't mention them again. We have the silicon press here. Once we, once we get silicon in here, it will be turned into printed silicon. This import bus will import anything from this inventory. So anything means printed silicon. And we store it, no need to filter here. Nothing is changed. 
we store it in this inscriber and it is rotated. I forgot to mention that. We need to rotate this so they end up in the correct order. Uh, you will see that when I build it again later. And then for the next three items, uh, we have gold over here. Gold is filtered to be used with logic press in that inscriber. In the middle inscriber, we filter for calculation, which means the Certus Quartz Crystal. And finally, the diamond, as I showed before, to the engineering. And we filter the diamond here. For these three, it is important to know that this the change, for some reason, you need to filter on insertion only. The default settings is insert and extract. We need to change this to insertion only, or you place your filter on in and out, and then you need to add the, this circuit here. So if I order now uh, this one, it will end up in here and with the circuit being done and it is, has been extracted and placed. Oh, I wasn't fast enough. It went here. <laughs> Let's do that again. It goes in here, engineering circuit up here and then it's sent on. So Personally, I insert, I filter on insertion only, which means that whatever we try to suck out with this export bus, where I filter capacity card required here, all these printed circuits. And because this is an export bus, trying to place them in this storage, an export bus will try to suck items from whatever inventory or storage you have in the blue network. And because we have a storage bus over here and it's filtered on insertion only or insert extract with this uh, additional one, we can see that item in here and can be extracted. And you can even see this tooltip. I don't think this was in old versions. We can extract from, uh, oh, not bottom and top, but all the other ones. But we're using back here. So this is a change and I get lots of questions about it. I hope this clarifies that. This storage bus up here is for redstone. It's filtered on insertion only, just like the other ones, but we need to have it that way because this is where we suck out the finished processor. If we filter on insert and extract, we need to add all these three in here as well. Otherwise it won't work. So if I do like this, and I order one, and I have the incorrect, it should not work. The processor ends up in here, but because this storage bus is on insert and extract, then we need to add the processor in this filter like this. And then it can be extracted and sent to the main green network. I'll remove it and place it like this. I think it's easier, less things to filter on, but both should work just as fine. And then the final step, as I mentioned before, we have the storage bus here to look at this inventory. And we have this export bus, which support uh, capacity card is required because we need to have all three processors in here. Send the finished processor back to the provider and green network. And I hope that was every step 
in this build with the update. Um, so I guess that takes us to the part where I build everything from scratch, from uh, auto crafting and power and all of that. Uh, so let's get started with that. And if you don't want to follow along, thanks for watching and uh, I hope this was useful. But I'll get moving and I'll also explain the chest part. Here we have the power for the entire system and I will build a perfect copy of this, I think. So it might take some time and cuts, um, but uh, I'll do my best. So over here we place our uh, store or crafting. So let's do three of them and then the craft thing monitors just to see what we're doing. 4K, I just like the color. You can use uh, uh, 1K for this setup. You don't even need all of them. You can have only one, but typically you have one for... Uh, uh, you have a few in the same network. One big, at least one big, and then a few smaller ones. Okay, uh, we need storage. Okay, we only need one. I use two because I think it looks more fun. We need to have crafting terminals and a pattern terminal. So up here, we'll place patterns. We don't need 64, but uh, it comes in a nice stack. And then we'll go in to the pattern provider. So this is the basic network. Note that we have uh, this side, four channels, these four. And on this side, we have these three. Actually, we don't even need this one. We can do like this. That's totally fine. Okay, so let me add some uh, items that we need. We need all of these to be able to craft. And I don't think that we need anything else, right? Nope, we should be fine. And then for the uh, for the patterns, uh, silicon, redstone, and then gold to make a processor. Note now that we are in crafting mode. We need to change this to processing, and this then we can specify the output. So this is the one. Uh, oh damn it! Um, Okay, uh, I'll let me come back to those later when I have more room in my inventory. Uh, it's actually time to do the this part. So we'll leave the green network once I've done. Actually, let yeah, I said I would show you the old setup first, and then why we switched to use the chest. So we have the interface here to receive everything and we have an export bus here. And this export bus will have all the finished processors. This one will receive everything. Let's use place all the inscribers like this and we rotate the top one. And depending on what direction you're facing, like this, you might need to rotate it in the other direction. At least you used to, but right now, um, perhaps it works with only one rotation. I can't say for sure right now, but let's uh, just remember that. We need storage bus for all of these. 
these five. And then remember that we filter on insertion, diamond, and then uh, let's see, engineering, this one. In the middle one, I'll filter on insertion, is, and over here we have calculation. And in the first one, of course, we have gold, logic, filter on gold, insertion. So all of these, insertion, insertion, insertion. Up here, redstone, insertion only. Over here. Here it doesn't really matter. Silicon will be sent here, but will not extract anything from here. So for this one, makes no difference. Now we can connect all of these and we can connect network power I mean and we need one more so from here we want to send export storage and import and don't worry I'll get to every part remember the power on this side and then we'll keep yellow Okay, on this side, we're back to blue, and here we need to add the prints, uh, these ones. So up here, we're now sending redstone, prints, and silicon into this one. And now we can add power and the final one, I think that was it, right? Let's see if we forgot anything. And we'll make this pattern and this pattern. And then the diamond pattern. Like that. Place them in here, and they should show up in here. Okay, um, unless I forgot anything, this should work. Let's craft one logic. Gold is down there, redstone and silicon, and the print over there, and Oh, I forgot the silicon press. So, minor mistake. And now get the print. In here, we should get the logic processor. And it should be sent back. So this is how I did it before. I had an, in the beginning, I had, we had an interface here to send to this, this interface. Uh, Pattern provider works in this setup, it works exactly the same. But for some reason, something changed. Uh, so if I craft 10 of them, no, that's too many. Five of them. Previously, all items ended up in here. I'm not sure why it's not doing that. But the implication is that even though this is finished right now and sent up here, the next gold ingot has not been sent here. And it, it won't be until we get the item back into the network. Uh, this wasn't the case before. And at this time, I don't know why. If I find out, I'll update the video description. So even though this works, and in the beginning, I didn't think there was a difference at all. You can see that this is really, really slow. It's probably 
half the speed compared to what it should be just because we can't do parallel work for some reason. But now when we're done, we can fix this. And you have already seen the fix. So let's crunch that. Place a chest here. Instead of the power here, we place power here. And that's the green. And instead of having an interface here, this is where we send stuff back. Export. We need the capacity. All three processors. Connect that. And the import bus here. And that should be the change, right? So if I order five of them now, we see that all of them will end up in here. I have no acceleration cards, but as soon as this was done, next ingot is being sent. So this is uh, at least twice as, as fast as it was before perhaps even faster. And then the final touch, of course, acceleration. Let's boost this up and this up. And once you have filled these top two with acceleration cards, with one or three or none, um, it actually won't be any faster. So if we go back here and we craft five of these, then this will be fast and this will be fast. But because this one is still the normal speed, the total speed is, uh, is the same. Because we're waiting for this all the time. So if you start to insert acceleration cards, you pretty much need to do it everywhere. So it's optional, if you have lots of resources, feel free, otherwise in the beginning of the game, it's not a big problem. You can even, well, let's do five of these. If you want to, you can even place one on this input bus, it will be faster on taking stuff from here and send. But I think that these inscribers are still slower than the import bus. So, yeah, maybe one. I doubt it. And here, uh, only if you want to, I doubt it will be making a difference. So the final test will be, of course, to do 11 of each. And just check. 33 in total. This will run all the time. Uh, these will stack up. You see we get the backlog here and here. And when we do three at a time, or even two, we will be limited by this one. So yeah, you might do, if you make this faster and this faster, then you only gain a speed increase if you have more than one running in parallel. Otherwise, you won't gain anything. So, just remember that. Blue network, or yellow network, not really uh, filtered. The blue network, make sure you have uh, control of all your filtering and import and export in the right direction. Okay, I hope I covered everything in detail, uh, otherwise you know where to find me. And uh, well, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.